So this weekend, something must have happened that most people missed. I said, my the Dutch company that makes the machines that make all the world's most advanced chips just became the top shareholder in Mistral AI, Europe's answer to open AI. They're putting in 1.3 billion euro out of a 1.7 billion euro funding round, which makes this one of the biggest AI deals ever. But the money isn't even the interesting part. Here's what is really happening. This is being done to strengthen Europe's tech sovereignty. Think about it. SML makes the 180 million euro machines that are literally the only way to produce the most advanced ships in the world. SML is the sole supplier of extreme ultra volute lithography equipment to ship manufacturers such as TSM and Intel. If you want coding aid ships, you have to go through them. Now, they're pairing that hardware monopoly with Europe's best AI company. The round will make Mistral the most valuable AI company in Europe with a 10 billion euro pre-money valuation. It's like owning both the factory that makes the engines and the company that builds the best cars. ISML could benefit from implementing Mistral's data analytics and AI capabilities to improve the performance of its tools and develop additional products. This is not just a business deal. It is Europe saying we are building our own AI stack from the ground up. Hardware plus software plus European data laws plus European consumers. Europe's playing a different game. Control the hardware that makes AI possible and pair it with homegrown AI models. ISML is expected to get a board seat at Mistral, so this is serious strategic alignment. Three things this means. First, Europe just gets really serious about AI independence. They are building an alternative. Second, if you are building AI products, you now have to think about a three-way race. Third, this could change how AI develops globally. ISML makes lithography equipment crucial for cutting edge chip production and uses AI to help make it tools more efficient. When the company that controls advanced ship production teams up with a leading AI company, that creates a feedback loop that could accelerate both hardware and software development. Europe just went from playing defense to playing offense in the AI race.